want to welcome you all online. God bless you richly. Please, this is a very, very important service. If you ask me, I'll say these are the best services in these seasons Amen. and times. At Word and Fire Ministry, these are the best services. They are blessing my soul as well. Many of you don't know that they bless me as well. Many of you don't know that I learn as much as you do. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Many times I talk here, it's not by, by power, by might. It is by the will and the grace of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Your amen is looking for my trouble. Amen. Permit me to correct a few things. First of all, um, you know, there are people online who are just online and maybe even in this building who are just waiting for you to make the least mistake so that they can correct you. There are other people who go online just to go and find their mistakes. That's right. App okay. is my phone, so I know they abuse again sometimes. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right? Now, I said that don't take the vaccine. You take it, you have yourself to blame. And that's my opinion. You have your own opinion. Your own opinion is that they should not take, they should take it. Eh? Yeah, exactly. I've not stopped you to give your opinion. Eh? Yes, sir. But I gave my own opinion. opinion. Don't take the vaccine. Thing. Now, you'll be amazed and you'll be surprised to know that fraud stars will use this vaccine to make money. That's right. Some people will literally go to clinics that have been established by fraud star and take this vaccine and their details will be taken. And that's how they'll steal from them massively. Don't take the vaccine. The vaccine, people will take it and tell you, I'm still alive after three days. <laughs> Sorry for you. Listen to me if you're online and you, you claim that you've taken it for two months and you're still alive. It doesn't have a short time effect. They are not foolish. It has a long time negative effect. Yes, they are not foolish. You know what they are doing. The short time effect is just for very few people. But the most effect is, is long time. After a few years, that's when we'll start seeing the effects. Oh, no. The same things that you used to believe, you turn around and say they are not right. I said it here in April. Time is coming where truth is even probably we have even seen it. Yes. Where truth will be considered as lie. as lie. And lie will be considered as truth. truth. So you telling the truth don't look at you like you're mad. Yes. The time is coming. And I said the vaccines will not be mandatory in the UK. Amen. I'm an apostle called in the UK. Amen. Not in Africa. Amen. My father is a lion of Africa. Amen. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. God said to us on Sunday that is making us a household name. Where? In the UK. In the UK. Hallelujah. So most of the things I say here, that's why even on, on our crossover night, I was speaking a lot about the UK. Yes, that's why my father was speaking a lot about Africa. You guys don't understand. You have you have a jurisdiction. That's right. God shows you things pertaining to that jurisdiction. That's right. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the UK, it will not be mandatory. I don't know about any other country. That's right. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I spoke about makeup, and some people have said, Pastor, are you saying we should not wear makeup? I want to just handle this quickly. I did not say that, though. I did not say don't wear. What did I say? Be it's not even me who said. The Bible says be moderate. Be moderate. Be what? Moderate. In all you do, be moderate. Don't build a house on your face. <laughs> be more. Shout hallelujah. Don't you say I look beautiful with makeup? <laughs> it's good I clarify these things. I did not say don't wear makeup. I always say don't put layers upon layers upon layers and begin to be foundation on your face. Right. That's all, that's all. Shout out, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, let's look at our Bible quickly. Philippians 4 5. Philippians 4 5. Philippians 4 5. Celebrate the media. The media has helped us. Hallelujah. hallelujah. 
Kudos to our media. Hallelujah. Amen. We are back. We are back. Hallelujah. So people are happy. They don't have to open their Bibles. <laughs> Philippians 4, 5. What does it say? 3, 2, 1, go. It says what? Let your, your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Let your moderation be moderate with everything you do. You see some, some, some particular tribes in this nation, they, they, their dressing is extravagant. The way things shining, shining everywhere is extravagant. Be what? Be moderate in all you do. In your makeup, be moderate. In everything you do, be moderate. That's what I mean. First Corinthians 6.12, quickly. First Corinthians 6.12. Thank you, my father. First Corinthians 6 12. First Corinthians 6 12. Say what? All things are lawful unto, unto me. me. That all, all things, things are not expedient. Sir, I must not have everything. No. Every life you struggle to live right now, you are not meant to live it. Every kind of life you struggle to live right now, you are not meant to live it. Yes. You want to buy a pair of shoes for 3,000 pounds, whereas there's another one for 30 pounds, that is the same. And you know you cannot afford 3,000 pounds to buy that shoe, but because you want to impress someone, you buy the one for 3,000 pounds and you don't have a meal tomorrow. Error. And that's a problem. And the next day they'll come and put Error. you under pressure. They do what? They'll come and put you under pressure. Say, I don't have what to eat. But last night they bought a chain for 3,000 pounds. Let nobody put you under pressure. Hallelujah. You must not have an iPhone 12. An iPhone 6 is still the same thing. It's just it, a, it, a, a small feature. It still makes a That's how you keep buying. iPhone 13, it, iPhone 40. You buy 5, 16G very soon. Amen. I did not say when you have your money, don't spend it. Spend it if you have it. But the problem we have in church are church folks who go the extra mile just to just to Mercy. please people Mercy, Lord. Shout hallelujah hallelujah this is these are things we need to teach you yes, this sir. is a problem judge say god where are you go if god gives you ten thousand pounds that you cannot manage it well you don't deserve twenty thousand my father said once that if you come to him, for example, for business, and he looks at you, you have the capital of the business, go and say what you have and start yeah. your business. Hallelujah. Because you are wearing your capital. Mm. That's right. Be moderate. Oh, you don't need everything, sir. You don't need everything. You don't need what you are living without now, or what you lived without 10 years ago, and you did not die. You can still live without it now. You will not die. Amen. This is not what I meant to do. You are meant to do revelation, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. Preach on, sir. Ecclesiastes 3, 1, 8. There's a time for everything. everything under the sun. Amen. That car you are rushing to buy, there's a time for it. Amen. Do not go ahead of oh, God. Hallelujah. Do that make myself clear? Amen. That yes, is sir. what I meant. But if you have your enough money to buy all the expensive things in the world why not go ahead and do it they were talking to church, church folks who go ahead and want to own things that they are not due for them yet why do something today that you can see it tomorrow first Thessalonians 5 1 to 4 give me through hey Lord Jesus give me through Ten years down the line, you will thank your God that you were in the service services like this. You thank God. Lord Jesus, give me truth. There is a race I must run. There are victories to be won. Give me power and me to be true. There is a race I must run. There are victories to be won. Give me power every hour to be true. Give me true. 
One to four. Let's read three to one. Go. Better of the times and the seasons, brethren. Ye have no need that I write unto you. It says verse two. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh what as a thief in the night. Verse three. And it says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then, then so suddenly. now they think that the vaccines will help them. The vaccine will not help them. The vaccines will not. When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travel upon a woman with child. And this speaks of unbelievers, right? The Gentiles. This doesn't speak of us. We are we are hidden in Christ Jesus. Amen. I can tell the way you are answering. Amen. Amen. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travel upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Verse 4. But ye, brethren, you see, yes, are, are not, not in the ye, brethren, talking about you and I now. Previously, he was talking about them. Yes. Now he's talking about you and that. We are not in darkness. That that, 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 that day, day should overtake, overtake you what? As a day. You know, many of you don't know what is coming on the surface of the earth. But I tell you, we are living in times and seasons where your Christianity has to be intact. Enough of messing around, enough of coming to church and going back home knowing not what has been preached. And I've been teaching this since April last year. Know God for yourself. That's what I was saying in the office again the other day. Believe that you, as you pray, things are happening. Stretch your faith. Because you have seen a virus, you know the number of plagues coming. They are joking, oh. Nobody will pray for you. You pray for yourself. So learn it now. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Learn it now. Don't go for yourself now. You must believe with all your heart that if you say to a beast, die, he will die. Amen. A time is coming where, like I said, they'll be breaking doors. Pastor Chris said 10 years. I still, I still kind of believe that. I don't know when, but I still kind of believe it mm. because of what is happening now. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And now is that period where you and I need to prepare. Sir, those who, like Mama was teaching yesterday, if you are not prepared now, when it comes you, it's easy, you fall. I'm telling you, sir. You know we can teach like that and we, we ourselves, we are not preparing. Mm, that's right. I'm telling you the truth. We can teach. The Bible says it's very clearly. Yeah. Say, lest you teach and be a castaway yourself. yourself yeah. When I, I saw something about food so, uh, shortages, and Mama, I said, I said to her, I said, this is what I saw. And I came and announced yeah. it, and me, myself, I went to sleep. We did not bath. And God wake me up. Say, you yourself, you have said it, and you are sleeping. I went shopping well that day three times. Hallelujah. Three times myself by myself. Say, don't preach it, and when it comes like a thief in the night, you are you will not have a way to escape. And take no child of God. No God for yourself. Stop following public opinion. That's what many of us do. We follow public opinion. Nice, you know. Public opinions. That every church is declaring 21 days fast, 40 days fast every year, it does not mean that that's what God is saying. That's right. Does that make sense, sir? Yes, sir. It's public opinion. Public opinion. Do not throw me the president. Public opinion. opinion. <laughs> Don't follow public opinion. Hear God for yourself. Hear God for yourself. Hear God for yourself. Yeah, God for yourself. 
Lord, what are you saying? Lord, what is the way out? Yes, Lord. Because God is not moved by public opinion, but he's moved by personal revelation. Don't be surprised next year I can come and say they will fasting for, the, for this year in the, the beginning of the, the year. Hallelujah. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. But this year we will not fast. Amen. It's not, it's not, God is not stereotype. God is not stereotype. You cannot put him in a box. Now, don't get me wrong. You can go about your own fasting. It's okay. Does that make sense? And take note that personal revelation will only come only on the grounds of holiness. God has been kicking to me, speaking to me about holiness. Holiness. Son, it's time for my people to repent and come back to the altar of prayer. Holiness. And daily, your daily work with God. Again, I told you last April 2020 that China is preparing for war. And I think the head of China, the government of China said that they should prepare for war on the first of this year. Go to go to the internet. That's very clear. Hallelujah. You've seen that. Then they should prepare for war. Mm. Go and look. If you someone have a phone, Google it now. <laughs> he said to them, prepare for what? For war. Hoha. It's on the internet. Prepare for war. That China should get ready for war with the West. So many preachers are saying we are in the tribulation already. But I don't think so. Because the tribulation is a period, like I said, of extreme darkness for Christians and we have not seen any of it yet. You think you have seen, you've not seen anything. I said on the 31st or on the 1st that what we saw in 2020, wait for 2021, we are in now. Mercy Lord. So, once you get an encounter, mm. it's difficult not to give up. Once you get an encounter with God, that's when you can stand like Job and said, yet he slain me. Will I even trust him more? Mm. On the ground of an, an encounter, encounter with Yeshua and Mashiach. We are preaching revelation today. I can still go back and ask every one of you, what did God tell you today? If you did not hear him today, then your work with God, there are gaps, there are, there are spaces that need to be filled. Mm. Mercy Lord. What did he tell you today? Child of God, I believe that we are in the build up of the tribulation and the mark of the beast. And it is coming sooner than we think. Because the devil knows that he has but a short time. Revelation 12 12. The devil knows that he has but a short time. He says, What? Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Whoa! Every time you see whoa, is to tell you that what is to come is <laughs> is, 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 is serious. Mm. Whoa! To the inhabitants of the, of the earth and of, and the, of the, sea. the sea. For the devil is come devil is down, down unto, unto you, you having great wrath, because, because he knoweth that, that, that he has but a, a short, short time. time. The devil has come down on earth with civil unrest with violence with crime rate this year the rate of crimes will be will be will be thank god it will not touch any of us in the name of jesus Amen. we said about bank closures we'll Amen. see all that this year and i said here yesterday while we we're praying that those involved they'll be exposed they'll yes. begin to be revealed as a matter of fact some of them will come out themselves and reveal themselves amen there'll be no hiding this year every one of the secrets what they have been doing in darkness will be revealed in the open. Amen. That will be the story of your enemies as well in the name of Jesus. I don't like that. Amen at all. Amen. Please stop asking me when we, we, we go back to normal. Say neighbor. neighbor. You are not going back to normal. Not going back to normal. I know they'll say that's a demonic prophecy. We are not going back to who? normal what you see now is what will be we are not going back to normal it's not demonic it's just the truth instead of asking those questions start preparing yourself ask god lord what should i do go down your knees cry out for repentance yes, lord. i explained that we have crossed over a new era during our new year service I said we've gone cross over a new decade. I say what you do now determine what happens to you in the next 10 years. Yes, Lord. 
Jesus Christ of Nazareth, child of God, whether you know it or not, is returning with power and with glory. But the popular question now is, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready for his coming? Because the Bible says that judgment will begin in the house of the Lord. The Lord. Judgment will begin where? In the house, house of, of the, the Lord. Lord. First Peter 4, 17. First Peter 4, 17 to 18. Judgment will begin in the house of the Lord. For the time is come that judgment was it must, must begin, begin at, the house, at the house of, of God. God. And, and if it is first begin at us, what shall the end of be them of them that obey not, not the gospel, gospel of God? Those talking about the Gentiles. So child of God, God is calling you and I to put our houses in order. God is calling you and that when people want to go for war, it takes them years to prepare for war. Mm. Many, many years. So you are preparing yourself that when it comes, you are ready. When the tribulation comes, you are ready. Nothing will take you unaware. Amen. God is calling you and I to put our houses in order. Because judgment will begin in the house of the Lord. Amen. This year, 2021, you will see top fake preachers who have been declaring their opinion instead of the counsel of God be exposed. Like I said, healing secrets will be brought to light. Amen. Again, this year, 2021, I said that in the office already, a lot of fake Christians will backslide. You know they are fake Christians. They call some pastor fake pastor. They are fake Christians. Mm. Fake Christians, a lot of them will backslide. But the redeem of the Lord are being prepared right now. The true Israel of God scattered abroad, they are being prepared right now. Amen. If you are one of them, your amen, sir. Amen. amen. Thank this you, year, Jesus. these are some of the things I had, I think, two days ago. Make sure you test every spirit. Yes, Lord. Because the world is in total chaos because of the lies and deceptions out there. That's Corinthians 2 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judge of no man. He that is many, many people say you don't judge. Say you should not judge. I don't know what where they got that their own Bible verses. He that is spiritual judge all things. He that is spiritual judge all things. So you judge. Every day you judge. Mercy when you go and buy fruits in the market, you judge the bad fruits and the good fruits. Everything Hallelujah. you do, you judge. You want to wear a clothes, you begin to judge. This one is not good. That's judging. You are judging. You judge. Where the Bible says don't judge is, for example, I'm committing adultery. And then I come and judge you who is committing adultery. I'm a hypocrite. Amen. Does that make sense? That's right. You can't judge what you yourself you are doing. You are doing, yeah. That's not what I'm teaching today. So what we are doing with this prayer Friday classes is to prepare us well. In the end time. Because a man who is well prepared is like a man who builds his house on a rock. On a rock. Matthew 7, 24, 27. A rock. Matthew 7, 24, 27. What does it say quickly? Matthew 7, 24, 27 says, It says, Therefore, whosoever right hear this saying of mine, mine. what you have been you are hearing now, and, and do it them. them, not just hearing, do it them. So there's a foundational power that will stop you from doing the right thing. Jesus. That's why I see many Christians are struggling. They love God. But they'll come, they'll cry, they'll shout, the glory of God will fall on them. As soon as they go out there, they go back to their old deeds. There's a power. Therefore, who shall write here this sin of mine and do with them? I will liken him unto what a wise man will build his, his house upon, upon a, rock. a rock. Next verse quickly. And the, the rain descended, descended and the, the flood came, came and the, and the winds blew, blew and beat, and beat upon, upon the house and, and it fell not. not. For it was, it was founded, founded upon a rock. Upon a so rock. when you are prepared, when the beast is introduced, when the antichrist is introduced, whatever they do will not move you. Amen. Because you have been prepared. You are likened unto what? A rock. rock. The next verse says what? And everyone, and everyone that, that heareth this saying of mine, mine and doeth them not, not shall be likened unto what a foolish man will be that his house, house upon the sand. sand. Verse 27. And the rain descended and so the flood came and the wind blew and, and beat upon, upon the house and it fell and, and great, great was the fall of it. Fall now of that's the difference between a Christian who goes through a thing and mourns and complains and cries 
with the one who goes through the same thing and he puts his hand in his pocket say i am an overcomer amen say no weapon fashion against me shall prosper, prosper. yet he slain me i will still I trust him more the pain may come in the night but the joy, joy comes in, in the, the morning. morning you know why he has the ability the capacity to do that because he has been prepared he has built his house on the rock, rock. by hearing the words and doing, doing the word but the one who is hearing and not doing and this is 90 percent of christians in churches around the world hearing and not doing when the least shaky comes lord where are you are you still in heaven why because they have been hearing and not doing doing. and one of the ways to prepare for the return of christ is by fasting and prayers 90 percent of us are not fasting i'm afraid we can see it through your dance (laughs) hallelujah (laughs) some people right here that they feel like they want to just sleep (laughs) you can tell that this one has been fasting (laughs) it's tough (laughs) now the flesh will always try everything to prevail over the spirit. Today, moi, I went to the fish twice. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. Sir, the kind of hunger that did me today. I've never yes. seen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Mercy, Lord. <laughs> Finally, I just went to sleep. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I've told you that's a secret. Why is doing too much? Just sleep. <laughs> you, you don't understand. I'm telling you. <laughs> Sir, twice, I'll go to the face. I'll look at the food. I went one, I took a plate. I look at the food. I began to speak in talks. Certainly. <laughs> Guess what? It did not work. <laughs> There's a time where dogs walk. There's a time it does walk. <laughs> flee, flee. Sir, I didn't want to sleep. But I slept by force. Uh, yeah. I put the plate because God reminded me. Mm. Cannot declare fast and you are eating. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I went to sleep. After two hours, I wake up. Hunger disappeared. Amen. And that's what is happening. Even when you lost everything that you feel like your body is doing some kind, go to sleep. Holy Ghost, help me. Go to sleep. When you mm. wake up, now I, can, I believe now I can be like that for the next three days without mm. food. Amen. But if I eat, and the worst thing is that when you eat that food, after two, you start crying. But the, the food will not even be nice. Mm. That's even what is ang- mm. making you so angry. Right. It will not even be nice. Sir. Sir. Mercy. I'm telling you what's happened to me. I don't know about your life, oh. I know all of you are very spiritual. You have a witness. You have I was witness. so angry. I said, I said, so all this hunger is for this food. <laughs> <laughs> because the devil knows that there is tremendous power, power in fasting. In fasting and prayer. Sir, nobody that walks in power doesn't fast. Yes, yeah. You want to walk in power, you must fast. Yes. Amen. I'm telling you the truth, sir. Isaiah 58, 1 to 11, quickly. Isaiah 58, 1 to 11. I like this. One of the ways you must prepare for his return is through prayer and fasting. Now, notice that true fasting child of God is abstaining from food, many times water like we are doing now, in order, in order to do what? In order to seek the Lord. The faith, yes. Many of us are doing hunger strike and we think we are fasting. You have spent the whole day you have not prayed. You did not fast. You did hunger strike. Maybe some of you are on diet control. Mm. Mercy, Lord. No, cut, cut, cut. People in Ethiopia, they don't have food to eat. So that's what you are doing. <laughs> <laughs> Fasting is abstaining from certain things to seek the Lord. Say, could you not wait with me for an hour? An hour. If you did not pray an hour today on your own personally, error. Many of you are on phone for more than an hour. So therefore, if you are not spending personal time with God as you fast, then I'm sorry that is hunger strike or diet control that you are doing. What is a true fast? Isaiah 58, 1 to 11. Let's read together. Here we'll see. 
that they were crying to God. Lord, we fasted, nothing happened. But the Lord was telling them the kind of fast that He wanted them to do. Mm. This is very important. We're coming to Revelation, but this is very important. Okay. Don't waste if you know you want to eat, mm-hmm. just eat or ask for help. Because you see you are fasting and you're not spending time with God, you are wasting your time. Yes, Lord. That will not even change anything, even lies telling will not disappear. It says what? Isaiah 58 from verse 1 to 11 it says what? Cry aloud, cry aloud spare not, not. lift up, up voice, voice like a trumpet, like a trumpet and, and share my people their, their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins verse 2, show them what they are doing wrong why they are fasting is not working for them mm. yes, yet they seek me daily yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God they ask of me the ordinance of justice they take delight in approaching to God. God. They want to. They love God. They want to know God. But wherefore, they don't know how to go about it. Say, wherefore have we fasted? Say they. And thou seest not. not. They say, God, we have been fasting all these years. Every this beginning of year we fast, you don't see it. And he says what? Wherefore, wherefore have we afflicted our soul? And thou take no knowledge. knowledge. Say, behold, in, in the, the day of, of your fast. fast you find, find pleasure, pleasure and, and exact all your levels. levels. Next one. It says, Behold, Behold you, you fast, fast for, for strife. So, there are many people that fast. As soon as they get out of their room, Debate. they start fighting everybody. They start getting angry. They start backbiting. It says, For you fast for strife and debate. They start quarreling with each other. And to and smite to with the feast of wickedness. You shall, you shall not, not fast, fast as you as do this day, this day. To, to make your, your voice, voice to be heard on high. high. Verse 5, quickly, because of time. It says, Is it, is it such is a it fast that, that I have chosen? chosen? Now, some verses will say, I have commanded. It speaks of corporate fast, mm. as we are doing now. It's yes. commanded by the Lord. Mm. Is Amen. this not the fast that I have commanded? A day for him. Now, this is the fast. A day for a man to, to afflict his own soul. Is, is it, it to, bow to bow down, down his, his head, head as, as a bulrush? And, and to spread sackcloth and ashes. It's not in those days when they were fasting, though, where everybody will know they are fasting. Yes, sir. If God is saying, This is not the kind of fast that I have commanded. And to do what? To spread sackcloth and ashes under him. We now call this a fast, fast and an acceptable day to the Lord. The Verse 6 weekly, it says, What? It's not, it's not this the, the fast, fast that, that I have chosen. chosen. To lose, lose that's the fast God wants. To do what? To, to lose, lose the bands of wickedness. How many people did you pray for today? To lose the bands of wickedness, to, to undo the heavy burdens, and, and to, to let the oppressed go free, and, and that he break every yoke. Verse seven. My God. It says what? Is it, it not is to do that bread to the hungry, hungry, to give out something to those who are hungry, and that that I'll bring, bring the, the poor that, that are cast out to the house? We are doing that. when I find the shout, Hallelujah. When it says, when thou seest the, the naked, naked, that thou, thou cover him, and, and that thou hide not thy self from thy own flesh. Verse 8, flesh. it says what? Quickly, because of time. Then shall the, the light, light break forth. Until you do that, then what happened? Then your fast will be effective. Yes. Then shall your light break forth as the morning, yes. and the herbs shall spring forth speedily, and the righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be the reward. Verse 9 says, then shall thou call, you see, only then shall you call and what and happens the Lord shall and answer. the Lord shall answer. Thou shall cry. Thou shall cry. And he shall, shall say, say yeah, yeah, I am. I'm a, listen to that. Hey, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. if thou if take, thou away, take away, from away from the midst of thee, the, the, the yoke, the putting, the putting forth, forth of the finger, the finger and, and speaking, speaking vanity. vanity. And if thou, thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, soul, then shall the light rise in obscurity. And, and what the and the darkness be as the new day. day. Verse 11. And the, the Lord, Lord shall guide, guide thee continually, continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make, make fat thy bones. bones. And thou shalt be like a water garden and like a spring of water. water. Whose, Whose water still not shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Is this not the fast that I've commanded? Unfortunately, like it says, what most of us do during fasting is we 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 carry bitterness still carry anger during fasting we watch movies we don't seek his face many of us talk on the phone for 
hours during fasting, but we have not prayed for an hour. Many of us are on social media for hours during fasting, and we have not seek the face of God that day. We don't read our Bibles during fasting. We don't fellowship. We don't praise God. We don't communion. Instead, most of us during fasting, that's when we backbite more. That's when we gossip more. That's when we flex more. That's when we sleep more. That's when we eat more. That is when we go shopping more. Many Christians, it is during the fast that they allow the, themselves, their body to be used by the devil. Whether you know it or not, doing a fast, like I said, that's when people will be texting you from nowhere. People that you have not seen for ages, they'll be texting you, I'll be telling you, the Gentiles will be texting you, I'll be telling you terrible things to take you Jesus. out of that fast. People you have not communicated for years, they will begin to approach you and begin to praise you and begin to tell you things that will take you away from the presence. Mercy, Lord. You are not fooling anyone, you are fooling yourself. Because like I said this year, this year is a year of personal, person, personal. Myself, I need my salvation is very important. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Child of God, we must understand that what makes fasting truly successful is when we are fasting and seeking God for direction. We've read it already. You know, it was food that destroyed who in the Bible? Who sold his bed right? Esau. Esau. Esau sold his bed right. He sold his destiny literally because of food. And sadly, this is the experience of many of us. Fasting is not fasting is self-discipline. Like I told you in my example today, what was that? Self-discipline. Discipline. Fasting is not a gift. <laughs> You'll be surprised that on the days you want to fast, that's the day you eat more. It's what self-discipline. Putting your body under oh, subjection. That's right. My flesh die. Amen. Fasting is no, but there's nothing like the gifts of fasting. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Self discipline, sir. Amen. And women, child, hallelujah. That's why I say single people be happy. Oh. Because the day you are fasting, that's when women they will cook all kind of food. <laughs> for the children. They will cook my best food for the children. True, sir. I'm telling you, sir. Very the day you are, that's when they will cook that, that best meal. You are praying, you are only thinking about that food. They sent all throughout the house. It's like they send them. <laughs> the day you are not fasting, you will look for food. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy, Lord. <laughs> many of us, but on a serious note, many of us will allow food to take away an encounter. That can literally change your life. Because when you are fasting and you are serious and you are seeking God, sir, one encounter, That's it. it will not only change your life, it will change a generation. Amen. One. Thank you, Jesus. Many times God will show me those are not fasting. Sometimes I'll say, you did not fast, you did not fast, you did not fast. You know why he does that? Because he's interested in your fasting life. Amen. He's interested. So stay away from people who say that you don't have to fast because Jesus Christ did it all. You know many people say you don't need to fast because Christ did it all. But I remember my Bible says that be what a mediator of, of Christ. Christ. Jesus fasted for 40 days, 40 nights. It means you and I must fast. Yes. Hallelujah. Ephesians 5, 1 to 7. Ephesians 5, 1. It says be what a mediator of Christ. Many people tell you that oh he has already done it all. Child of God, don't be deceived by the false doctrines around because what food is to your substance is exactly what fasting is to your spiritual spiritual growth. Amen. Quickly going back to Revelation because of time, last week we started Revelation 11. And as a recap, we said that we are still in the midst of the seven trumpets blast. Who can still remember what we said? Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Sing like never like before. Revelation 11 
it explains end time jerusalem we said that last week that will be like sodom and gomorrah because of time i cannot ask many of you what we did it says and we spoke about the two weaknesses last week that were sent by god to prophesy and preach his word with power so in verse 1 and 2 of revelation 11 apostle john is giving a measuring rod if we we saw that verse 1 is giving what a measuring rod to measure the temple of god but like we said last week that temple right now is non-existent the temple was destroyed like we said last week and it's in its place right now we have what the doom of the rock me and pastor david went there live in Amen. verse 3 god told apostle john that during the tribulation put verse 3 on there during the tribulation he will still send two witnesses that will prophesy for 1200 days that is for three and a half oh, years yes. is that the right match yes three and a half years so literally god will send two witnesses in the period of the tribulation Amen. in the midst mid of mid of the tribulation to tell the people why all what we've seen has befallen them Amen. In an attempt to turn them back to the lord did we say that yes sir. in verse 4 apostle john is simply told by the angel that these two witnesses are like olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the god of the earth in verse 5 these two witnesses were literally bulletproof remember we said god make them bulletproof and if any man will hurt them you see fire proceeded out of their mouth and devoured their enemies and if any man will hurt them he must in this manner be killed so literally god protected them god bulletproof them such that until they finish their mandate nobody was able to hurt them in any capacity hallelujah hallelujah and in verse 6 we it tells us what powers they had and what they could do with these powers is there if you want to read it so god knew that although he's giving them an assignment they'll face persecutions does that make sense yes so god gave them power to preserve them and we said that these two weaknesses will make a lot of enemies now why do they make a lot of enemies because they were preaching tormenting words yes the truth if you know the abuse that i've had and yet nobody knows me yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> does that make sense Amen. just imagine them they were known by the entire they'll be known by the entire jerusalem so they, they are preaching tormenting words and that's why there was a huge celebration when they were killed whenever you preach the truth you will not make friends you will make enemies shout hallelujah hallelujah you will not make friends you will make what enemies in verse 7 tells us that when they had finished their mandate and preaching and prophesying god allowed the beast to kill the two witnesses and the beast appeared for a while like a hero but unknown to the beast god has predestined the length of their time on the earth and also that their death was all in god's plan you know many times like i said last week when the enemy is afflicting you he will think he's winning right. there are enemies that can stand before you and tell you as long as i'm alive you will not marry physical enemies but who is he that said and he coming to pass when god himself commanded, commanded him not. now so he may be going through an affliction now and he's looking as if he's for so long that sometimes it might be in god's plan yes last year 2020 god told me i was dealing with your desires amen desires for things in verse 8 the b system intentionally allows the bodies of these two witnesses on the street of jerusalem and literally they refuse to give them a barrier so they died and they left them there for three days yes, yeah so that everyone can come and see that look these are these are the people we've just killed but unknown to them even the death of the two weaknesses were all predestined by yes. god they were all in god's plan shout hallelujah hallelujah in verse 9 we saw how these evil people will be happy the two weaknesses died and literally they refused to give them a barrier verse 10 it is party time for the wicked inhabitants of the earth mm. and they'll make merry and shall send gifts to one another but god has his plans as we will see in verse 11 and this is where we stopped last week hallelujah amen verse 11 let's read quickly verse 11 we'll read and then we we'll explain verse 11 quickly it says what and after three, and after days, three days and, and, and i have half, for three days and a half three and days and a half, half yeah. the, spirit the spirit of life from god, god take note of that the spirit death. of life from, from god, god 
entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them so literally the two witnesses rose back to life after three and a half days and great fear fell on their enemies on their mockers on those who thought that they were dead and buried and gone and i said last week that this is what i call comeback ability and this is one of the greatest experiences we call child of god Amen. nothing is lost until he says so Amen. there's what i call comeback ability i told you jesus is dead and buried jesus. and gone and everybody knows he's gone yes but the bible says what the spirit of the lord entered him and he rose back from the dead man but think about it he says the spirit of the lord entered him and jesus had to rose up from the the dead dead, there is something you must do for that thing that has died to rose back amen shout hallelujah hallelujah come back about ability i call it the advantage we have when we have the holy ghost if you don't have the holy ghost you are a dead man walking yes. just a matter of time <laughs> mercy lord your life is never over child of god you can always stand again say never you must keep moving you must keep moving regardless of what you see regardless of what you see the bible says that samson even he was about to die he held on to the pillar mm. <laughs> he held what on to the pillar and he said oh lord one last time that was what comeback ability. ability when his enemies thought he was gone and gone forever mm. he held a pillar and he made one last prayer he had to do something mm. lord just one time and the bible says those he killed at his death were more than those he killed when he was alive hallelujah come back ability, ability. That is the advantage God has given you. And every time you say, Lord, I cannot do it. Lord, I am I'm tired. That's not God. That's your flesh Flesh speaking. speaking. Every time you feel like giving up child of God, that is not God. That is your flesh speaking. Lazarus being raised back to life is comeback ability. Amen. Now, every one thinks lazarus is gone but jesus restore him back to life yes lord so therefore child of god part of the equation of giving you and i this comeback ability and be empowered this year is that first of all we must cooperate with what god has given us we must cooperate with what god has told us this year i can release any form of prophecy to your life if you don't cooperate with it it will never come to pass God can say anything to you that will happen this year. If you don't cooperate with it, it may never come to pass. That will not be your story in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus is no doubt committed, child of God, to meet your expectation this year. But in the meantime, you have to believe in his word and then wake up and stop complaining and start speaking faith. Make up your mind this year not to give up at any point. Job said, all the days of my life, all the days of my appointed time, will I wait for my change? Doesn't matter what I see. All the days, no matter the afflictions, no matter the delays, no matter the stagnation, no matter the retardation, all the days of my appointed time, as long as I'm alive, I will wait for that change. Amen. I'll wait for it. I'll wait for it. Now let's quickly look at what happened in Luke 8.22. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples and said unto them, let us go over to the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. So Jesus Christ literally, take note, he guarantees them the other side but he doesn't tell them about the storm. If he told them about the storm, they will not go. Uh (laughs) They will say, Jesus, we, we, we we cannot do this. He says, Peter, come forth, come forth come forth he had to believe when he he doubted he began to sing he tells him you can come he he will not tell peter to come if he doesn't see that he has the ability to come come yes right to walk on water i've said it and i'll say it again whatever you're going through now there's a solution in you amen he will not let you go through that thing without putting that solution in you amen 
Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Child of God, God has given us the Holy Spirit so that whatever He's able to do, we can do also do. If we believe, John 14, 12. If mm -hmm. we believe, ye can do the things that Jesus did and do even what greater things because Jesus going on to my Father. He says, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. I think that is Joel 2, 28. I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Now, only those with who are being enveloped with the spirit of God are able to prophesy. Amen. Remember, it's the spirit of God that entered Jesus and he jacked up from life. It is the spirit of God that entered Lazarus and he jacked up from life. Child of God, I strongly felt like God was telling me today to tell someone that he will put his spirit within you and you shall live and not die in the name of Jesus. I said that business will live and not die in the name of Jesus. I say that job will live and not die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ezekiel 36, 27. It says what? Ezekiel 36, 27. Ezekiel 36, 27. It says what? 3, 2, 1, go. And I'll put my spirit within you. And cause you to do what? To walk in my status. So you need the spirit of God to be obedient to God. The reason why many are in church as they still go back to their old life is because they don't cooperate with the spirit that is in them. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, many are in problems. They, they fall into temptation, but they cannot say, Lord, help me. Their mouth are shut. They cannot say, Holy Ghost, I need your help. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statute. And ye shall keep my judgment and do them. Sir, so it takes the spirit of God to stand with God Amen. at all times. Amen. It takes the spirit of God to see people faking it and be real. It takes the spirit of God to see people making it big, but yet they are faking it and you are trying to be good and you, you don't see many don't much see. results. Yeah. But you see stand there. Amen. And I'll put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statute. So God only transfer his spirit, his fire, his power, his ability to those who believe, to those who are ready to call for those things that be not as though they are. Amen. So refuse, child of God, to stop wherever you are right now. And this year, let's stop playing around with our destinies. Let's stop messing around with people who are going nowhere. Verse 12. Verse 12. Verse 12, Revelation 11, 12. What does it say? Quickly, I have to finish at 9 o'clock by the grace of God, if I can. So help me, Holy Ghost. To do to one go, it says what? And they, they heard, heard a great, great voice, voice from heaven, heaven saying, saying unto them, unto them come, come up hither. And they and ascended up to heaven in a cloud, a cloud and, and their and enemies beheld them. them. And the two witnesses, after they were raised from the dead, they heard a great voice from heaven. Soon as they were raised, they heard a voice from heaven says, come up now. And what happened? They ascended up to heaven and those who killed them began to watch them ascend it was like ascension of yes. christ Amen. Amen. that's easy to understand verse 13 it says what and the same hour was there a great earthquake so as soon as they ascended to heaven what happened an earthquake came on the surface of the, the earth. earth and Amen. the tenth part of the city fell, fell. you see and in the earthquake, earthquake were slain of men, men. that seven thousand men died in the earthquake and the remnant were, af were, were frightened and gave glory to the God of heaven. Now take note that those who were giving glory to God were not necessary Christians. Were not necessary those who gave their life to Christ. There's a way we live in a generation where everybody says Jesus. Have you seen young believers when they have a problem? Jesus. And you're wondering that same Jesus you don't like. Mercy, mercy Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's the reason why the Bible says, not everyone who says to me, what? Lord, Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. That's Matthew 7, 21, 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord shall enter. So you can be in church all your life as long as you are not doing the will of God. There's only one place you go after. You will not go there in the name of Jesus. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen. But only those who do the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? So people can prophesy, but not by the grace of God. Have we not cast out demons in your name? 
and done many wonders in your name and then i will declare to them i never knew you depart from me who practice what lawlessness verse 14 quickly because of time Hallelujah. verse 14 it says the second woe is past and behold the third woe cometh quick what did i say about woe when he says woe it just means that something that is coming the third one will be will be worse than the second one Amen. every time you see woe just it just shows you the seriousness of what is about to happen so he says woe because the last three trumpets blast will be more severe than the previous one verse 15 if you don't understand anything as i explain stop me he says and the seven angels sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying the kingdom of this world have become the kingdom of our lord i thought someone would shout hallelujah hallelujah that is when the king of king takes over amen and of his amen. christ and he shall reign forever and ever, ever. shout hallelujah hallelujah he and shall reign Jesus. forever and ever so the seven angels sounded his trumpet and apostle john hears voices proclaiming that the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our lord what an awesome time child of god this would be hallelujah verse 16 what does it say quickly it says and the four and twenty elders who sat before god on their seat they fell upon their faces and you see in almost every chapter it tells you what you expect it's like giving you a foresight of what you'll be doing in heaven every time they fell on their so if you cannot be in your sacred place with god at one point you just kneel down you just lie down and worship then you still need to ask for yourself they Amen. fell down on their face and worship god jesus is reigning there as we said as king of kings and lord of lords and the celebration within god's people alas after the liars after the deceivers after the wicked people of this earth the corrupt people have been destroyed malachi 3 17 to 18 malachi 3 17 to 18 quickly malachi 3 7 thank you it says and they shall be mine said the lord of hosts in that day when i make up my jewelries and i'll spare them as a man spared his own son that saved him malachi 3 17 18 says what 18 says what then shall ye return triumphant return and, and shall descend, descend between, between the, the righteous, righteous and the and wicked, the wicked. Between and him between him that served god and him that served him, him not. not between him that served god verse 18 says what it says then shall it verse 18 mark my revelation 11 18. it says and the nations were angry and, and thy wrath, thy wrath is, is come and the, and time, the time of, of the death, death but they, they should be judged just... you know you were angry the mm. wicked governors that we are serving now the wicked governments of the of the yes, nations yes the wicked you know there are people that think that oh this is your church you are carrying it on your head too much as long as your christianity is real even your family members will fight you if they have not fought you then your christianity is fake i'm telling you they'll fight you yes, there are people in your family that will say what has god given you what has church done to you why church they'll tell you that people are rich and they don't need to go to church stupidity i don't even want to go to that topic the big that we're worshiping a long time ago we now know where the money is coming from nobody needs to tell you again i'd rather be broke and be in christ than be rich and be with the devil Amen. tell you the truth And the nations were angry these are the wicked governments of the nations and their wrath is come they were angry that jesus has come with his wrath and the time of the death that they should judge this is i love it because he's a god that will judge the wicked they are getting away with dinner and they are proud they are happy that they are making it but a time is coming when he will come for the righteous and the wicked shall be shall be judged he says they should and that thou should they give reward unto the servant the prophets is giving with a reward us who are righteous and to the saints who are righteous and then so there's a reward for you for serving god let nobody be amen amen yes you might be going through things now but it's better to go through those things and be in christ than to get all and be with the devil 
what shall he profit a man if he gains, gains the, the whole world, world through fraud and loses his soul the story of lazarus and the rich man in the bible we yes. saw when they went to heaven what happened the equation was reversed the rich man began to beg lazarus instead but on earth the rich man was eating and throwing crumbs lazarus eating crumbs but lazarus made it to heaven he made it where in hell i'd rather be broke here and be rich in heaven shout hallelujah amen and none of us shall know brokenness after now in the name of jesus amen it says what now the time has come for the dead to be judged and to finally reward those who despite the temptation and the persecution on earth still had to fear god that also teaches us that there is truly a judgment day i've said already and that while we are on earth child of god we should never copy evil never copy evil it doesn't matter what your neighbor has and that you don't have Hallelujah. you don't know where they got it from never copy evil do not go ahead of god you must not drive that car now you can buy the one that is okay for you i remember when i just came to this country i was a student paying fees nine thousand ten thousand no then it was not it was about seven thousand then about ten years ago university fees was about seven thousand was it seven thousand yeah about seven seven thousand now it's nine thousand and i was just looking at people driving cars anything i say i want to buy <laughs> who did this to me i bought a car and then summer came i wanted to get a convertible a student driving two cars say error error did i need those cars no i just also wanted to be a big boy I can change cars so i can just take yes, off my right. roof <laughs> yes right we are telling these youths now they are not understanding Shout hallelujah hallelujah and maybe nobody even recognize that i even have one car <laughs> and that's the problem <laughs> Shout hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> we should never copy evil no matter the rewards because everyone on the surface of the earth child of god one day we shall all face judgment yes Lord, some people will face judgment now others will face it later first timothy 5 24 quickly first timothy 5 24 first timothy 5 24 it says what some men sins are open beforehand going before to judgment and some men they follow after, after. So yes, there's a judgment day and some will be judged, get judgment immediately and others later. Verse 19 says what? Verse 19, and the temple of God was opened and there yeah, was seen in, in his, temple, his temple the act, the act of, his, of testament, his testament and there was and lightning, there lightning and, and voices and thunderings and an, and earthquake, an earthquake and, and great, great hell. hell. And the temple of God was opened in heaven said, yes, yeah, simply means that God is not dwelling with his choosing ones. Hallelujah. In eternal communion in a new Jerusalem, amen. a new earth coming down, prepared for us. Amen. Shout, amen. Amen. We'll stop here for now. You can sit down if you want to pray. Sit down. You don't need to stand up. Just sit down. Thank God for the word. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. Thank Master you, my Father. Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your thank holy you. word. You that you is why you are God. Thank you, you rest of it. Thank you. That is why you are called. Thank you, Jehovah. Father, thank you for what you say you will do. That is what you will do. That is why you are called.
God is why you are come. 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 Back to the altar of holiness, the altar of prayer. We shall pray. The Bible speaking in Ecclesiastic 9 8. Let's read Ecclesiastic 9 8. You can sit down if you want. Ecclesiastic 9 8. But make sure you're praying. Say what? Let, Let your garment be, be always white. Not on some days. Not that one week you are holy, the next week you go back to the world. The next week you are holy, the next week you go back to the world. Let your garment be always white. Yes, when you do that, God will still forgive those sins. But shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? The Bible says that God forbids. God forbids that we continue in those sins. Let that garment be always be white. And let the head lack no oil. The prayer is this. Oh Lord, Cleanse my garment. Let it be as white as snow and put fresh oil on my head to go through this journey. In the name of Jesus. Cleanse my garment. My God that is always available. Lord God, let thy garment be always white. Let in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let thy garment be always white, O Lord. Jesus Christ. 
says what and he and said unto them listen to that how is it that you sought me wish ye not that i must be not about my father's business they were all distracted but jesus was focused on his assignment that's right many of us the devil has taken us out of our assignments many of us the devil is showing us things to distract us from our assignments many of us we are doing things we are doing an assignment that is not of god Jesus. oh lord whatever assignment i'm doing that is not of you lord let me be disconnected from you yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. 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 whatever thing i'm doing that is not of you in your will in my life disconnect me oh lord that is outside your will oh lord disconnect me from it oh lord i don't know my jesus oh lord this last one revelation 22 13 let's take this last one it says what three to one i am what the alpha and, and the, the only the beginning, beginning and the end the first and the last i took this prayer from my father and this is how he explained it he said alpha is a greek alphabet he said alpha and omega is who god is and he said beginning and the end is what god does 
Yes. He finishes whatever he starts. Amen. He said that means that if you don't know God for who he is, you cannot see what he does. Yes. If you don't know him as the Alpha and the Omega, you cannot see the beginning and the end. He said Moses knew him as beginning and the end, and so Moses could display God's ways to the children of Israel, which were his acts. Let's pray, oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus, help me this year. Help me this year to know you as you are. To know you as you are, so that I can experience what you do. So that I can experience what Say, you oh do. Say, Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus, teach me to know you. Teach me to know you in a language. In the language that I will understand. That I will understand. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. In the name of the Lord help Jesus. Help me to know you as you are. Oh God, help me so to know you. So that I can experience what you do. Help me to know you. Help me to know you as you are. As you are, oh Lord. So that I can experience. First Kings 20 39. First Kings 20 39. Thank you, Lord. First Kings 20 39. First Kings 20 39. Let's read the second part of it. And a man turned aside. And let's read from the beginning. And as the king passed the by, king passed he, by. Cried he cried unto the, the king, king and he said, That servant went, went unto in the, into the midst of the battle. battle. And, and behold, behold, a man turned aside and brought a man unto me and said, Keep it this man. If thy enemies you be missing, look at that. Then shall thy life be for his life, or else thou shalt bear a talent of silver. Many of us are paying today for the errors of yesterday. We shall pray. Many of us are paying today for the errors of yesterday. Child of God in life and destiny, like I said, many Christians are paying today because of the mistakes of yesterday. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Whoever is using anything, whoever is using anything in my past, in my past, to affect my present, to affect my, to affect my future, to affect my future, I will your assignment. Oh, do another beginning prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus, my past will work against me. In the my past will work against me. My past will work against me. In the name of Jesus, my past will work against me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I will pray. Holy Ghost, I come to you now. I command them to die now. I 
Sometimes and you see Thank people sending a naked picture. Someone had a relationship with you because it is over. You take a naked picture and send out there. You must be careful what you do. Now, for singles, any man who says send me a naked picture, run. This kind of things they don't preach in church. But if we don't teach you, no, no. Any boy, it's not even a boy, it's a bong bong boy. Hopeless, useless. Hopeless, useless. I like that, sir. You always back me up very well. <laughs> you did not say, you say hopeless, useless. He just joined them together. It's English, you understand what it means now? Any man, any boy, it's not a man, who says, send me a naked picture of you. Tell your mother, or come and tell me. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's take a communion. Because anything you do now might affect your destiny. And my prayer might not help you at that time. God will allow you to go through it because that's the error you made. Let's share the grace. May the grace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.